All right, guys, so check it out. We all know that Kobe's got the world famous Kobe beef, which we're gonna be chowing down on tonight for dinner. Wow. But hold on, before we do that, we're actually gonna take a bullet train to Hiroshima and give their regional specialty dish a try, their savory okonomiyaki. Now this stuff is made pretty differently from the famous Osaka okonomiyaki, so it's gonna be a whole new experience for us. We're going Shin Osaka to Hiroshima? Osaka number 20. 20? Yes. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is going to be the first time taking a bullet train here in Japan, aka the Shinkansen. What is happening, guys? And you're watching Mom Dude. Join us as we travel around the world. And by the way, this is only episode 5 of our 30 day Japan adventure. So make sure to follow along. Can you eat in there? Yes. So eating and bringing your own food is acceptable and allowed for a long train ride. So we did our 7-Eleven run this morning and stocked up on snacks. Oh, so I see green car and I see ones with no green car. What's that mean? So there's the ordinary cars and then there's the green cars. Ordinary cars are regular seats and the green car gives you extra room. It's kind of like business class, first class. Wait, but, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mom Duty. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you decided to get the green car now. Oh, it smells so good in here, by the way. It smells brand new. Wow. Yeah, you guys look so comfortable. So here's our green car tour, guys. We've got a nice little footrest. That's great. We've got this tray, so all the snacks that you bring, you can eat here with a cup holder too. We've got some storage area in the front. You can put your seat back, you can recline it, put your legs up, and then you got a light. Now here's the best part about the bullet train. It goes up to 200 miles per hour, which means we're gonna get there in no time. So from here to Hiroshima, it's gonna be about an hour and a half. Now if we were to take a taxi, I believe it's about four, four and a half hours. And Another fun fact is that in the last 57 years, ever since this was invented, uh, there's been no death caused by any derailment or collisions. So this is the safest way to travel through Japan. It took off exactly at 8.53. Look at that. That's what's on the ticket, 8.53. Wow, this train is just zipping on through. It doesn't even feel like you're going 200 miles per hour. And if you're traveling with luggage, there is space inside the cart. You have an overhead area for like small to medium-sized luggage. And in the very back row of the cart, there is an area for a larger size luggage. So that's pretty convenient. Oh yeah, something that I'm noticing in some of the trains here is that it is very quiet. So you have to whisper and, and I think it's just customary for people to talk very lightly and silently when you're in Japan. So there's a few brief stops before we get to Hiroshima. So this is just one of the stops. Oh yeah, something that I want to mention is the cost. Uh, so this would have cost roughly about $400 for this green car or business class uh, for our family versus taking a taxi, which would have cost double that. But what we did is purchase a seven day JR pass, which costs $1,000 for all of us. And basically this allows us unlimited trips without any extra costs anywhere you wanna go in Japan. So just as long as you know where you're going and you planned ahead, uh, the JR pass is definitely a good deal.
This is us, Hiroshima. Welcome to Hiroshima. Uh, that was a super comfortable ride, quick and easy. Actually, didn't want it to end. A uh, good way to just rest up and relax. Now, before we chow down on the Okinomiyaki, we're gonna go ahead and pay our respect and head down to their Peace Memorial Park. And it is just a 10 minute quick cab ride to that spot. So this place is not only important to the people of Japan, but also very important to everyone around the world. It's a place of remembrance and reflection for the victims of the atomic bombing. And it's a symbol of hope and peace for the world. I believe this is a huge park, but in this building, they're gonna show some artifacts, uh, pictures of Hiroshima before and after the bombing, and other stuff that shows the uh, impact and aftermath of the bombing. So, uh, so just a little bit of a warning. So once you enter the memorial, the first thing you see is a great illustration of what Hiroshima looked like before the bombing. A very vibrant and uh, happy city. A single atomic bomb indiscriminately killed tens of thousands of people, profounding, disrupting and alerting the lives of the survivors. The Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum conveys the, to the world the horrors and inhuman nature of nuclear weapons and spreads the message uh, of no more Hiroshima. 140,000 people died. Yes. Imagine what they went through puts things in perspective. It's just very hard to see it all. It's so sad. You know what's wild is that we learned this back in, uh, I believe, in high school. Yeah. But what's even more crazier is that the kids are learning about this right here in Hiroshima. But it is so somber and sad in there. But at the same time, it's such a great uh, peace memorial. No more Hiroshima. It has such a uh, great message. So right behind me is the Cenotaph Curved Monument, which is a list of all the people who died in the bombing. And it's at the end of the pool here in the middle of the park, and it frames the atomic bomb dome. This is the flame of peace. This flame will be lit until the world is nuclear free. All right guys, this is the Children's Peace Monument and it is a tribute to the kids who were killed in the bombing. This bronze statue represents a girl named Sadaku. She was diagnosed with leukemia, which was caused by the radiation exposure. And during her hospital stay, she heard of the legend of the crane, that if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, the person who folded it is granted a wish. And from what I read, that she knew in her heart that she wouldn't be granted a wish, but she ended up folding over a thousand cranes. She ended up passing away at the age of 12. The statue of her is like a statue of peace and hope for not just Hiroshima, Japan, but for everybody around the world. We're gonna rise up. We're gonna rise up higher than ever. So right behind me is the Atomic Bomb Dome, the only building that survived the blast of the atomic bomb, which is so hard to believe. In another life, this dome used to be an exhibition hall for industrial products, but now it's a memorial for peace and a reminder of the horrors of nuclear warfare. It is just so hard to imagine that this blast was so powerful that it flattened everything within a radius of two kilometers. But think about this, it's super sad 
But at the same time, the people of Hiroshima never gave up. I mean, look at this place. That happened, what, roughly about close to 80 years ago? And this place looks absolutely beautiful. And just like the rest of Japan, very clean. I mean, very super clean. Such an inspiring story, guys. If you are ever in Japan, never miss out Hiroshima and visit this memorial place. And now it is time to get some okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Yeah, the savory pancake that we had Osaka style. Now we're gonna have Hiroshima style. Oh, by the way, okonomiyaki was actually invented here in Hiroshima after the atomic bombing. Food was so limited that people got really creative with what they had. So what they did is that they gathered up all the ingredients, whatever they had on hand, and they made this delicious meal. If you missed our street food Osaka vlog, uh, we'll link it up here. But that is the first time we've ever tried okonomiyaki. But that is so good. So good. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, this one's gonna beat that one out. I'm we'll hungry see. and I can't wait to find out. We'll have to see. So we picked Okonomi Mura because they got four out of five stars out of over like 5,000 reviews. This whole building, four floors, is just dedicated for this restaurant. So you can't go wrong. The people have spoken and this place is supposed to be just very authentic and delicious. It smells so good. Oh, and by the way, there's over 2,000 Okonomi Yaki restaurants. So this must be really, really good. So the batter, they make it like an omelet first. Like a tortilla. Yeah, it kind of looks like a tortilla, that's right. Hiroshima special? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll get the young special. <laughs> oh, he said ooh when I said mine, so that must be good. Uh, So in Osaka, what they do with the batter is that they mix it with all the ingredients. Here, they do the batter first, kind of like an omelet by itself. Yes, they definitely don't mix it here. It's layered one ingredient on top of another ingredient on top of another ingredient, and it just looks like a delicious mess. I love it. So interesting. From the looks of it, I think each okonomiyaki is made with noodles. So they put the cabbage on top of that, then the bean sprout, then the scallions, and I got pork belly, so they put the pork belly on top of that, and then they take out those noodles and just spread it across the griddle and spray a bunch of soy sauce. Oh, it looks so delicious. And at the end, when everything is nice and crispy, they go ahead and crack that egg. And somebody got two eggs. Who got two eggs? Oh, Nas got two eggs, of course. Oh, wow. Uh, after everything is done, they go ahead and flip that over again where the egg is now on top and the batter is on the bottom. And they cut it in about nine small pieces. And then, of course, they add their secret sauce and last ingredients at the end. Wow. This absolutely smells like heaven right now. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Ah, that's 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 an ice cold beer. Wow. Time to chow down, guys. Wow. My mouth is water. Good. It's like a pizza with topping on top, but way better. I have some good stuff right there. The batter is so crispy and the inside is so soft. I love the contrast. Mm, mm, that is so good. I can taste all the different flavors and texture. The noodles are great. The Corn is a nice touch. The cheese is like my favorite part. <laughs> a very gooey and melted. The sesame seeds are a nice touch also. The cabbage is quite crunchy and that pork belly. Tender and fatty, just like how I like it. No joke, guys. This is pretty dang good. 
That's amazing. Oh my god. It tastes so good. All right, Mom, Duty, what do you like better? This one, Hiroshima style or Osaka style? Oh my gosh, that's so hard because they're both really good. I think like Osaka, the noodles were a little thicker, which I really like, like more like pasta, like thick, thick spaghetti. But here, I love the sauce. Like the sauce makes such a huge difference when it's mixed with the toppings. If it didn't have the sauce, I don't know if I would have liked it. So I don't know, I'm, I'm going for this one. I like the Hiroshima, the what? Hiroshima one. But yeah, I like them both. It's a hard one, a hard one for me. It's a toss up. Well, the first one you tried, you didn't have noodles. It was I didn't more... have noodles. I had the traditional Osaki style. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. had the noodles. I had the yeah. noodles. Yeah, but I agree. This secret sauce, whatever they put in there, is what makes this really special. It's 2.30. And I devoured my okonomiyaki. So right after this, we are going to the train station, getting another bullet train, and headed to Kobe. And it's gonna take about an hour and a half. So something to point out about the trains in Japan, they are always on time. Welcome to Kobe! Oh, look at this. We got Spider-Man. Kobe Sushi. Kobe Sushi. Kobe everywhere, guys. I, I really like the vibe of Kobe. Look at all the street food. Kind of like more of a chilled uh, version of Dotonbori. What restaurant did We're you pick from? We're going to from? attempt to go to American Hatoba. It sounds like American, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, we don't have reservations, and I hope they let us in. This is a pretty cool spot, huh? Hopefully we can get in. No reservations, so it doesn't look promising. <laughs> okay, what's the scoop? Okay, one guy was doing this. Like, no. We're full. We are trying our luck at another spot called Steakland. Steakland, Kobe, be good to us. Be good to us. <laughs> I love you. Oh, this is nice. All right. It's a miracle. It's cozier, too. Oh, yeah. Two Kobe. Well, yes. Yeah, and this is Wagyu beef for them, right? We just ordered our first Kobe beef in Kobe, Japan, A5. Each coming up at 180 grams a piece. All right, Knox, how are you gonna be able to eat that? That's a yes. lot for Kobe. This is my third A5, A5 one, and I got two A5 Wagyu's before. So I hope this Kobe is gonna be really good. Smell that garlic now? I can smell that beautiful garlic with the butter in the sauce. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I might have some. Oh, and now we're putting some vegetables in there. That looks so good right now. Fun fact about Kobe, Kobe is actually not an actual cut of the cow, but an actual cow itself. So different parts of the cow will have different prices and flavors. And there's this national rating that they do here uh, to grade Kobe beef, and the highest grade is uh, A5. But overall, Kobe beef is known to be super high quality and marbled, so it's very tender and flavorful. And we got ours medium rare. That's how you want to get your Kobe, especially if you get an A5. That is amazing. We are about to try our first Kobe beef A5 in Kobe, Japan. No sauce. Let's try it. So rich and buttery. So good. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> that is oh. so good. My goodness. <laughs> that just melts in your mouth just like butter. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 10 out of 10. Okay, now we, we're putting garlic on that and then sauce. Okay, garlic and sauce. Now try here. Put that garlic and then the sauce is in. Oh. 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 Mmm. That's very good. That's very, very good. Oh my god. I love the fattiness of this. That is just next level right there. Wow. 
That is so juicy and flavorful. It's literally like heaven in your mouth. That is just extravagant. Thank you very much. Right, thank thank you. you. Such an epic experience, guys. Definitely. Boom, give me some. Boom, check Boom, shakalaka. Cameraman, mom duty to Kobe. We had a blast today. Now, if you missed our last adventure, make sure to click uh, right here. Click right here. Click right here.